in an even situation. That's a lot of what we saw, the 2BQs constantly being outplayed. As we go into game three, so I'm gonna already hyper focus on the mid jungle and see what happens here. Should be an advantage early on for JDG. Question. If it's okay to give the rift, I don't think they will. This is LPL, and we have to fight rift out. I think it's, it's probably in their contract somewhere. But, They've actually just jumped um, in. Uh, how's LP? Uh, yeah. Okay, well, anyone's legend have picked up the Herald and Konami a bit slow to the party, so they want to fight, but after the fact, well, Betty just gets to sit in the bottom lane and Hope actually moved up with it. Yeah. At this point in the game, Forge isn't too strong, isn't really able to, to fight back without pressure from the jungle at the very least. Glad you bring up Vision. I mean, yeah, it's littered red for JDG's. Kanavi makes his entrance in. Xiao Hao is going to be spotted out. Kanavi, solar flare down with the shield break. Does nothing and even missing, getting blown up as Hope wants to bring it all back, though. Look at the Chakrams at the ready, but now that Forge is nearby, they have to back off further. Uh, JDG knew that Xiao Hao were there, but it was just unlucky window for Kanavi. Yeah, uh, I think definitely... Just in terms of how that skirmish played out, perhaps we'll, we'll get a replay, but you could see that maybe going the opposite way, considering that Turk be engaged, but basically both Missing and Kanavi were grouped up for oh, no. the, the chase. Oh line. no. Um, well, Akali thinks flash forward, forge with the five point strike, it's close. Now well, Yagao wants to bring it back. Hailstorm gets the gravity field, and for 369, that's a bit of burst damage to add in suit. JDG have three members versus two. ZDC joining in as well. Meanwhile, the bottom lane, Hope wants to make this dive alongside Missing. Betty is outside turret range. Ignited down. And in a quick instant, JDG with two big kills across the map. Uh, turret planning in the bottom side was huge as well. Yagao picked up a crown. And now it's the gank on the Xiao Hao. Pokes his head in the jungle and Kanavi was waiting. ZDZ wants to take him though. The Herald charges in. In for end of the line. And ZDZ with his ult. He tries to burn him down. But he's taking a turret shot. 369 doesn't care if he's avoided it now. As the hammer will fly through a blast cone. But Yagao waiting. And with Forge joining in as well. Missing's on top of him. Into the shroud. Slowed down with Riptide. All you need is a good dredge line. And a lockdown. And anyone's legend. It's just gone to poo. All parts of the jungle. Yep, and one of the things that I've really enjoyed about JDG so far is just kind of how willing they are to constantly move the, the vision line aggressively and missing, potentially getting caught yeah, out. Yeah, he saw a water, but Betty's more exploded, of a and oh. it, it was just, uh, yeah, he decided to, to go there. He's had the crown, so any all-in is going to be nullified. Yeah, which, uh, missing, starting this one again, but a shock blast on the two members. Anyone's legend this time being baited in. Oh. Missing might die, but look, the Chaos Storm on top of Chocho. JDG waiting over the wall as he comes out of stasis. 369's waiting. And for JDG, four versus four. Both supports down. But the health bar's a little bit healthier on JDG. That's going to mean the dragon going over to JDG just as easily as if the Xiao Hao was the one who died there. And let's be realistic about this series. Support's been everything, and that's a great kick. Hope goes back in, though. Dies to the solar flare. And that's why support's been big here in this series. Chocho cleans it up as... Xiao Hao with the hero play on Hope. That was an attempt that I respect it. Long range. Victory. The shock blast from the Jace. So still really happy with these siege scenarios. But they're going to be more reliant on creeps to get the power. Don't necessarily have a long range. Well, they've got goals. Hope again. Remember the Hope burn is summoned in the last trade. As Chocho picks up one up yet again. But he's burnt low as Kanavi in the back line. But kicked away. Ulti comes through. The Predator oh. becomes the prey in the end. As Betty now with reset Yagao. Wants to make sure it ends there. JDG. They lose four members. Three left on anyone's legend. They yeah. got 280 carries, Kelsey. They're going to run to Baron. Yeah. And that's what I was basically just briefly talking about is that you need But JDG. Also... Forge. <laughs> Still not spotted out though until the control ward goes down and for JDG it's getting low in front of the dragon. Kanavi wants to run on in. He steals it. Right. Infernal Soul given over as Chocho burnt down. Super Mega Death Rocker great but look at this Forge jumping into the whole team. The Chaos Storm hits him pretty hard as well. Corrupting Potion ticking but he'll live with a 2 for 1 trade for Infernal. Secured for JDG. It's not done. Onto ZDZ 369 buffing in and he'll bop his way up to. Player, okay, backing away. Uh, JDG grouping as well. And for now, as Yigao walks forward into CDZ, 
KG will stick around trying to take this tier two. Soul play comes in again though from Chocho. A great engagement. But Yalko's goal. Forge on the angle is a concern though. As Missing burns down once again. But the Chaos Storm is shredding anyone's legend. Running on in. Xiao Hao tries. But on the Missing he might die. But will it matter? Yagao runs up to the turret. The next wave inbound. And the Shock Blast starting to hurt more and more. So it's a win for JDG. Support for Jungler. While more gold is going to go in their pocket. Take down by the, the sun engage from Chocho, so not a straightforward target for either Jungle or Chocho to assassinate. Missing starts it again. Chocho flip from Forge onto Missing. It expires. Missing wants another dredge line onto Chocho. Max range. Depth charge into the back as he flashes away. Super Mega Death Rocket can't finish the job as Forge jumps on in, but everyone from JDG groups up while it is just a sacrificial lamb from Kanabi. Missing surviving once again as the Shock Blast does the rest. 369 all the damn time. The Xiao Hao running for the hill. DDD with a dredge line again. Missing sacrificing his life. He flashes over, but I think he's just doomed. JDG have all the eggs in their basket as they run it up mid. And I'm, I'm going to coin the term Assassin Tank Rek'Sai, because okay. even though he has no tank items, he's effectively serving the, the purpose of a tank here by creating space, allowing his carries to do a lot of damage from a safe distance, occupying the attention of multiple members with his knockup. So uh, I'm going I'm to take that one, not necessarily like playing the way he's itemized, but...